The Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of Jesus Christ, is venerated throughout the Catholic faith. A model for devotion, a beacon of hope, and an instrument of conversion, her name and depiction appears over and over, journeying throughout history. As it is here, in an island wedged between Asia and the vastness of the Pacific Ocean. As if called by her devotees, she blazed a path to a mountainous region of northern Philippines. This is the story of the journey of Our Lady of Pia. In the 16th century, many monastic orders began to set roots in the new Portuguese colony of Macau. Churches were being built, a number of them in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary. But this was short-lived for the Spanish Dominican order. By the command of the Portuguese viceroy in India, Macau was to be stripped of any Spanish nationals, believed to be spies concealed behind the cloth. With most of them moving west back to Spain, some sailed east to more than 700 miles across the South China Sea to Gavita, Philippines, just south of Manila. With them were religious articles from their church, and included among them was a brown sculpture of the Nuestra Señora del Rosario, or Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. The sculpture stands four feet high and was made from paper mache that used lacquering methods made popular in the Middle East and India. Its figure was typical of a Madonna with a child, which stood out among other religious depictions of ivory made by Chinese craftsmen, for her skin was muy moreno, or too dark. Her features and that of the child Jesus look Indian. This strongly suggests that she was crafted in Goa by Indian artisans before being transported to Macau at around 1550 and then on to Manila and further into Cagayan Valley in 1604. If so, this would make the image the oldest Marian image in the Philippines. What is uncontested is its value to the missions in the Philippines. From Cavite, the Dominicans moved northward to Cagayan Valley in an attempt to evangelize among the Itawis and other communities there. The sculpture was a simplistic representation of the Mary with child for converts to easily grasp the visitation. In 1604, they brought the brown image of Our Lady of the Rosary, setting it down in Nueva Segovia, today called Lalo. Over time, the image was passed to Piat, a small town in need of an image for their church, where it was believed that a miraculous healing took place. By 1619, there was an attempt to move it to the capital, Dugigarao, but the people of Piat had grown to love their dark-skinned Madonna and demanded its return. As if destined to watch over Cagayan Valley, the image finally settled atop a hill between Piat and Tuao, in a simple brick church called the Santuario of Piat. This place would soon be elevated to a Basilica Minor, where now thousands have come to see her. For some to see her is enough, for others to touch her gives them hope and strength. In 2004, she celebrated her quadricentennial celebration and her second canonical coronation, the first being in 1954. She is the only Marian image canonically crowned twice. 400 years since she arrived in Cagayan Valley, the devotion spread far beyond Cagayan to North America, Hong Kong, Macau, Germany, Scotland, to mention a few. Every 2nd of July, novenas are held before a day of celebration. For the people of Cagayan, she is their mother. Ever watchful, ever caring, as they toil through their days, she is there with them. She is part and parcel of their heritage, and more so, of their faith. Our Lady of Piat, the Queen of Cagayan, the patroness of the valley, the doting mother to her devoted children.